Chaz, give me your best poker face. I buy it. How you doing? My name is Taylor Kitsch, and I play this guy, Darren Kozlowski, in the Audible original Koz. My name is Darren Kozlowski, and I'm an undercover ATF agent, and I also go by Koz. Today, we're going to find out how similar I am in real life to the character I play in Koz. We're both going to answer Audible's personality questionnaire. Let's get it on, Taylor. All right, let's bring it. Question uno. It's rare that I reveal a secret. I strongly agree with that. I'm pretty trustworthy, Cos. It's rare that I reveal a secret. I'm gonna go strongly agree. To me, sometimes secrets are life and death. They right. get out, it's gonna be game yeah. over. Yeah, no bueno. I have a high threshold for pain. Is this emotional pain we're talking about, or are we talking <laughs> about physical pain? I'd say physical. All right, I haven't given birth. I strongly agree that I have a th high threshold for pain. I have a high threshold for pain. I'm gonna say strongly agree because I've been in those positions where I've felt a lot of pain. I have rarely crumbled under pressure. I mean, this is nothing but flattering myself this whole time, which I'm totally okay with. I'm gonna say strongly agree. I love pressure. I love kind of game seven stuff. I hope I don't crumble on it. I'm gonna just go, I agree. I gotta go strongly agree again. I, mean, I would say never. Really? You get close. You yeah. get close to the point where even in this case, when you know, you're know you locked in a room with some of these guys and they got guns on you and you're just trying to hold it together, it gets close to crumbling. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I could tell probably I was visibly shaking and nervous at times, but it but it Maybe that even realistic. helped, yeah, yeah, right. If I was too stoic, yeah. it, it, it could be different. Right. All right, when I was a kid, I always played as a robber. See, I did army games. So I was always hunting, like mm -hmm. the paintball, but like imaginary, and we'd hide out like literally in the bushes for hours chasing one another. I'm gonna disagree. I'm gonna go neutral because there were times, somebody's gotta be the robber sometimes, right. and, and you know, we took turns as kids. So for me, it was neutral, I did both. I have an excellent poker face. Yeah, I'll go strongly agree. I have an excellent poker face. I mean, if you didn't, I don't think you'd be here. I think you're right. I agree with that. Cause, give me your best poker face. I buy it. Traveling at high speeds without a helmet is a thrilling experience. Don't try this at home. But I agree. That's the only way I'd rather go. Really? Without the helmet. Really? Um, I've done it. Do you do the skull uh, cap? The little yeah, helmet? And if I do it, it's, yeah, the beanie, the, yeah. the, the they call it the skull bucket, you know, yeah. whatever, because that's all that's going to be left in it when you Yeah, it. totally. But, uh, yeah, I, I'd go no helmet all day long. Really? Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. let's go to the results, everyone. What percentage do you think we have in common? Over 90%. Whoa, really? Just on those questions. I'll say, like, 77%. 83.3. Okay, so we are we kind of split the difference. We're basically twins. <laughs> yep, there we go, 83. That's pretty good. All right, thanks for watching. Check out Cause on Audible if you want to immerse yourself in the dangerous undercover life of an agent hunting biker gangs. That's me. That's him.